Hey everyone, today I'm super excited to share that we've added DeepSeq R1 support to the BAI framework. DeepSeq R1 is an advanced large language model that excels in complex reasoning tasks through its reinforcement learning approach. It leverages an advanced chain of thought architecture, allowing it to break down and solve complex problems, making it rival some of the best models available. So this support opens up some pretty amazing possibilities for the open source community to build sophisticated AI workflows. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a competitive analysis multi-agentic system built using the experimental workflows feature of the BAI framework. This workflow component lets you break down complex AI processes into clear and manageable steps, define exactly how data should flow between those steps, create loops and branches for when the AI needs to repeat tasks or make decisions, and then track the state of your data throughout the entire process. Let me show you how we use this to build a automated competitive analysis system. Starting with an industry like AI chatbots, here's how it works. Generate Competitors identifies major players like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. Select Competitors begins the research loop, picking one company to analyze at a time. Web Research gathers internet data about the technology and the market position. Categorize Findings uses AI to extract insights. And then the loop continues until all of the competitors are analyzed. The finalized summary creates the initial report. And then finally, the reflection step reviews the analysis quality and can trigger additional research if needed. And this trigger can happen up to three times, so it can iterate on the report three times. The reflection step is particularly powerful because it acts as a quality control system. It evaluates the depth and completeness of your analysis, identifies gaps in the competitor coverage. It will suggest specific improvements if needed and can restart the process, as I mentioned, if necessary. And it really just ensures that our final report meets the quality standards that we expect. Think of it like having a really smart research assistant who can systematically analyze each company one by one and then come together with a final report for you to review. Now let's dive into the code that powers this workflow. This is the heart of our workflow, our workflows file. Each step is clearly defined and connected. Each function allows the same pattern. They take the current state as an input, process their specific task, return updates to the state, and then specify the next step. This first function generates competitors based on the industry provided, unless the competitors are explicitly given to the user, which is also an option. The web research function uses Tavly Search API to gather information about each competitor. And then the results are processed and organized very nicely. And you can see the final report is generated, which includes sections for each competitor and lists all of the sources used in the process, along with direct links to the sources. And lastly, the reflection function reviews the quality of the analysis and triggers additional research up to three times. Something I learned in building this is just how easy it is to extend or add additional functions to make the system more and more powerful. Initially, we had built this without the reflection step and later realized that rather than just trying to tweak and get the prompts very specific upfront for each of these steps, we could actually allow the AI to reflect on its work and improve the results itself. So that was a pretty powerful learning. Each time in the process that AI is invoked, there's a template that gets called instructing the AI on its role and how to format its responses effectively. So that's what's found in this prompts file. Uh, specific instructions, and you can see we specify what format the output should fall in for the process to run smoothly. So here it's a JSON. The main file is where input processing takes place. You're able to leverage any model you choose, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be running DeepSeq R18B using Olama. As I mentioned, you can initiate this workflow by providing an industry that you're analyzing and optionally specify the companies that you're interested in. If you don't specify competitors, the system is designed to identify the top competitors in the specified industry automatically. Lastly, this part of the code sets up event monitoring for the workflow progress so you can watch it over time how it progresses. Let me show you this in action with a real example. So I'm going to be analyzing the open source AI agentic frameworks industry, and I'll specify exactly which competitors I want to analyze here. When I enter this, you can see it, it starts processing our specified competitors. First up is Crew AI, and you can see how it starts to gather and analyze the data. 
It's using Tavily search to find current information about Crew AI's capabilities and its market position, and it's processing those results and extracting key insights. It's going to do this for each competitor, so it will run through Relevance AI, Langgraph, Autogen, and OpenAI. And the system is maintaining this nice progress log so I can see exactly what's going on. Once it's done with all competitors, it'll generate our final report. The final output is a markdown document that includes a detailed analysis of each of the competitors and all of our source citations. So that's a quick look at how we're using DeepSeq models with the BAI framework to build powerful AI workflows. I'm really excited to see what you build with all of this. And the full code for this competitive analysis system is in our GitHub repo. I've put all the links that you need to get started in the description below. If you're working on something interesting with BAI, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And let me know what other kinds of AI workflows you're interested in seeing covered in these videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching.